More than three months since the train crash into East Palestine, Ohio, sent shockwaves through the rail industry. In the wake of that environmental disaster, states like New York are now moving ahead with new rail safety regulations. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has those details. There was over 1,100 different train derailments last year. That averages three per day in this nation, far too many. And there's the potential for catastrophe in any of our communities. Back in February, a train carrying hazardous material derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, sparking health and environmental concerns, even forcing people from their homes. In an effort to prevent something similar from happening in New York, the state Senate passed 10 bills to strengthen train safety. Three of them are sponsored by transportation chair Tim Kennedy. Number one, creating a two-person crew for uh, these railroads, making sure that there are uh, individuals that are uh, following along uh, all of the inspected areas of the uh, trains where they go, a heightened level of inspections. In the state budget, $800,000 in additional funding was allocated for 10 state railroad inspectors. We created a task force to focus on uh, improving rail safety moving forward. We put in restrictions for how long a train can be, and we put in uh, new mechanisms to focus on uh, heat that's emanating from these rail cars to make sure that uh, no area along the tracks can get too hot. While the legislation passed in the Senate, it has yet to pass in the Assembly. I reached out to Speaker Carl Hasty's office to see when the bills will be taken up, but I am still awaiting a response. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. A long